Hi everyone! Okay, it is Friday evening here. Um, I've had a bit of a week at work, <laughs> so it's time to chill out with my paints. Um, yeah, I really need to uh, unwind and what better way to do it than uh, get on with your favourite activity, painting. Okay, so I've turned my uh, home office into a painting studio for the weekend. I'm really excited because I've got so many ideas. But today I am going to do my second tree, pour, um, tree swipe ever. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, wanted to show you this. Um, I saw this uh, trick from, I can't remember who, ages and ages ago from uh, a YouTube video where they used um, these um, sort of lubed screws to level the canvas. Absolutely genius. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect, perfectly level because the floor here is a bit funky. <laughs> so anyway, I've got a bunch of paints here. So I'll bring you in uh, closer so you can uh, see what I'm doing. Okie doke, so my colours today. My uh, base paint, uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown. Hope you can see that in the camera. Um, mixing this is ridiculously easy. It's just red and black makes that a gorgeous chocolate brown. In this case, it's uh, Amsterdam Carmine Red and Amsterdam Oxide Black. So that'll be what goes on first. Then I'm gonna do the what I did last time uh, with the uh, cloud mix, which didn't work out too well with the uh, little cracks and stuff. So for the light first swipe, I am using a Amsterdam Titanium Buff Deep. Now, um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love mixing my own colours. But in this case, I used a ready mixed one. A um, couple of reasons. I had something I really could do with uh, using up, uh, last of the uh, big pot. And also, um, the uh, Titanium Buff Deep, it's a mix of white, red and black. So that's not going to mess with... Um, this one here, there's no yellow in it, so it should be fine. Should be just fine with the uh, pigments. Okay, and then I've got a bunch of colors here. Um, not entirely sure if I'm going to use all of them and in what order. I think today I'm just gonna let, um, you know, intuition take over and really just have fun, chill out, unwind with this painting. But anyway, uh, the ones I have is, this one here is a maroon I mixed uh, with uh, Amsterdam uh, Pirol Red and Ultramarine Blue and a little bit of uh, Windsor Newton Gold just to give it that nice uh, nice shimmer. And then this uh, really nice uh, darker brown. Um, well, no, not darker, different. This is actually lighter. Oops. <laughs> uh, this is an Amsterdam Nathol Red, which I can never pronounce. Um, medium. Oxide Black and Windsor Newton Gold. Really, really nice uh, dark brown. And then just a straight Windsor Newton Gold. I am crazy about their gold. It dries so beautiful. And then some exciting ones, something I've never used before, uh, some prison pour uh, colours. This one's a black raspberry and this one here is a deep amethyst. Let me just show you. Absolutely stunning colours. They are gorgeous. I really am a sucker for <laughs> metallics and uh, shiny paints. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Okay, and then I've got some piggies. I am so excited to be uh, finally using uh, this little piggy pigment. Thank you um, so much to Mina who uh, taught me how to uh, how to dissolve them in alcohol. So this is these are made with her tipsy piggy <laughs> recipe. I love that name. Well, <laughs> excellent. Anyway, I've got Macaw, which is a uh, duo color shift one. I'm so excited to be using that one. And Twilight. This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Okay, so what I will do, I'm going to 
put some music on for you probably for me as well <laughs> and uh, most likely speed up the video because I've got a feeling this might take me a good while so yeah the last one took me uh, 45 minutes I'm not worried gonna worry about the time like I said I'll just speed it up so you don't have to uh, watch me do this all day so yeah I'll speak to you once I'm done
I think I need to stop there because I really have to remind myself that less is more. Um, I don't think you can really see that well from there, but this is so cool. I can't get over how cool this is. I'll bring you in for a close-up. There we go. Let's have a look at it from up high there. <laughs> I love it. It is like some absolutely nuts fantasy world with, you know, river fire just there. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the paints. I need to put the flash on for you, just a sec. So let's have a look at, with the, look at it with the flash on then. There we go. Ooh, look at that shimmer and shine. Oh, I'm in love. I am in love. Oh, and there we go. The piggies. Oh, oh my goodness. The color shift there. Oh my goodness. Right, now every darn thing cross that this dries well and I'll be back once it is dry. See you then. Now for the dried results. Um, I love the general composition. I think it's really, really cool. But look what happened. I am so annoyed. All these fine cracks. Oh, so 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 annoying so <clears throat> what i'm gonna do you can see oh, sorry about the camera shaking <laughs> you can see just there i've added some uh, gold acrylic pen there so i'm just gonna go over the bottom part i think i'll put some black on first and then gold here and there in the cracks and probably just some gold up the top there but i love love the uh clp pigment there i'll show you i'll show you the final final <laughs> tried result once i'm done with my um posca pen so yeah i'll speak to you then Okay, so here is the dried results after my uh, <laughs> fixing of the little hairline cracks. Um, I put the flash on because I just want to show you. Look at the TLP macaw. Oh, it is so beautiful the way it just shifts color. It is gorgeous. Now, um, as for fixing the cracks, obviously it darkened this... Um, lower section a little bit but i don't mind and then over here they're definitely less noticeable and by the time i put a um coat of resin on this or two i don't think you'll be able to see them at all and i really wasn't going to give up on this painting because i think it's just so cool i mean look at these details here they are fabulous it's like really really odd shaped uh, pearl action happening right there on the edge and here on the bottom wait for it there can you see those dendrites oh my goodness i am just tickled by those they are so cool so yeah i'm glad i put in the effort of uh rescuing this particular painting I love it and I think like I said I think it'll be really really cool once I've uh, resined it in a uh, three or four weeks time but I'd love to hear what you think so please leave me a comment let me know what you think and if you haven't already please subscribe and most of all thanks so much for being here with me 
I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.